Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Ooh, my flowers look nice in the back. But hi guys, I'm sorry if I always feel like I'm whispering in videos, but Milo is napping, but I wanted to film right now. So this is what's happening. But we are in the kitchen because this morning, Milo and I went to the grocery store, we went to Trader Joe's. So today's video is going to be like a Trader Joe's haul slash meal prep, meal plan, organize the fridge, just kind of like a, a food prep video for the week. Now that I have a toddler that eats everything inside, I have to go to the store at least once a week a lot of the times i am there twice a week this was our big food shop of the week but we still have um like some veggies on hand from last time like i have celery carrots salad onions some other veggies just some of our other staples i already had on hand and so i mainly thought i was going to like pick up milk eggs and berries but then i was like oh no there's more that i need and there was a bunch of fun new stuff so i thought it'd be fun to just just hang in there with me today i don't know what this video is going to turn out to be but we'll start with a haul so i have all my stuff laid out. So let's just get into it. We'll do produce first. So I'm very excited about these. They have, I think they used to be 99 cents. I feel like they're $1.99 now, but you get 10 stems of daffodils for $1.99. And so it makes it really affordable to make like a cute little vase. You guys know I love daffodils. I had my first ones bloom in the front yard that we planted last year. It's the most exciting thing in the world. But yeah, you guys know how I feel about daffodils. So also my mom has been like going to her Trader Joe's frequently and, and trying to see if they had them. And so I sent her pictures today Mine had them in, so hopefully yours do too, but I'm so excited about these. This is the amount of bananas I buy now. Like I cannot believe, and we go through them all. Mostly it's Milo. Every morning at around 9.30 or 10, he demands a banana. <laughs> like it's some sort of routine we've started and he knows, like he will stand by the fruit bowl around that time and just stare at us. <laughs> so I picked up loads of bananas. They've been super green lately. Um, I do get the organic ones, but if the organic ones are really green and the non-organic ones aren't, I'll just go for those. But they were all green today. So I went for organic and this is, I, I, this is wild. My son is a monkey. I got three lemon, nope, three limes, three limes and three lemons. I can only hold two, but we just go through these like crazy. So I'm, I always pick up at least two or three when I go to the store. I got just a uh, beef steak tomato. I have been loving, and I show you what else I buy to bake it, but I've been loving Caprese sandwiches. Like, oh my God, when it probably gets closer to summer, I'll probably share my recipe on reels or something. Oh my God, I really pride myself in the, the ability to make a very flavorful Caprese and I've turned it into a sandwich and it is so, so good. So I picked that up for that, but I also, I just love a tomato. I will slice this and put salt and pepper on it and eat it plain, so. I picked up two bell peppers I used up. I just like to have these on hand and I used up our last one last night making stuffed bell pepper soup, which is so good. I put it on my Instagram stories and a lot of you were asking for the recipe. I have a recipe printed out that I like loosely follow, but nowhere on the recipe that we printed out does it say where it's from. And I also completely changed it. So I will eventually share that as well, but I just like to have these on hand for snacking. We like them in a bunch of different recipes, pastas, soups, all that kind of stuff. So bought two of those. I also really love picking out a bell pepper. Like I really try to find like a juicy, good looking red one. <laughs> I picked up avocados. We are down to our last one. This coming, I don't know when this video is going up, but the week I'm filming this, this coming Sunday is the Super Bowl. So I know we're gonna want chips and guacamole and all that stuff. So, um, but, but I mean, we eat avocados otherwise, but I did wanna have some on hand and ripe and ready for Super Bowl Sunday. My son is awake, so I'll try to wrap this up. <laughs> I got a cucumber. I want to make tzatziki. I bought some Greek yogurt, we'll, you'll see in a minute. Also, if you can hear my son, he really just has a good time in his crib. And if you hear that, that's what's happening. At least now I can talk a bit louder, but I got a cucumber. I really want to make tzatziki. I bought Greek yogurt whole. When I'm giving it to Milo, I try to buy the whole fat Greek yogurt, just the plain. Since he eats so many bananas, sometimes he can get a little stopped up. I like to mix in some prunes with some Greek yogurt. He loves that. Uh, he just loves also tzatziki. We have a Greek place near us that has incredible tzatziki and I crave, crave it almost every day. So I wanna try and make it, see if I can make it really good so that I don't have to crave it from a restaurant all the time. And plus Milo, I think I already said, loves tzatziki. He loves a dip. We introduced him to the world of dipping. He's obsessed with it. He always wants to dip things. And so he would love tzatziki as well. I also make just like a really easy cucumber turkey sandwich, like a tea house style sandwich. Um, and I put turkey, loads of cucumber, cream cheese, dill, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we go through a cucumber in this house. Milo doesn't like cucumbers, which I think is odd because he likes most like sweet things, but he won't eat cucumber, but I'll keep introducing it to him. 
Well, he won't eat it unless it's in tzatziki. I got a big thing of parsley. Like a lot of them were very small today, but this was a big one. So I was like, yes, my parsley plant, it is starting to like regrow, but it's just not as much as I need through the week. Parsley is my life, you guys. I love it on every single meal. I just, I cannot get enough. So um, I definitely am stocking up on the parsley, but I just need to plant more of it. I feel like I need several pots of it around the yard so that I always have some. I can't grow enough parsley to satiate my parsley need. And then we've got lots of berries. I heard the term berry toddler and I love it because I completely have a berry toddler. He loves berries. His very favorite are blackberries. He has these every single morning. I got two things of organic strawberries. I buy organic berries where I can. I know a lot of people roll their eyes at organic and all that stuff, but you know, there's a lot of scary chemicals used on plants. Mostly Roundup terrifies me. So if, if an organic label keeps us away from eating stuff with Roundup on it, I'm great. The organic strawberries lately though have been awful, but these look incredible. So I got two because I was like, I want some. That's the thing is like, I feel like I can't eat any berries throughout the week because Milo literally eats them all. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. Just buy another thing and enjoy some berries. <laughs> now Milo's trying to go back to sleep. So we'll see how that goes. He also loves blueberries, organic as well. And then I got a, just a small thing of organic raspberries. He goes like in and out with raspberries. He either loves them or he doesn't. And we have a few left over from last week. So I didn't get two. Most weeks I do get two, but this week I just got one. I got a bag of the organic Caesar salad kit. I, you guys have heard me rave about this all the time. This stuff is so good. Tastes like a restaurant quality salad. It, it has nothing to do with it being organic. This Caesar salad kit compared to their other one is just better. You have to trust me. It's so good. I usually jazz it up with a little dried oregano, a little lemon juice. Mwah. It is so, so good. We buy it all the time. We love it. I bought arugula. I can't grow arugula well, you guys. I've never been successful at it. I have a few leaves of it out there, but like I, I, that's something I would like to be successful in growing is arugula because I love it. I make these pasta salad bowls, which I will also be sharing soon. Put a little bit of this on my Caprese sandwich and pastas and salads. Like I love arugula. It's a, I feel like it is an acquired taste, but it is a, it's a nice taste. I feel like it's like a peppery lettuce. It's very odd, but it's delicious and I'm addicted to it. So I bought that for everything I just said, but mostly I make those like pasta salad lunch bowls for lunch. <laughs> Okay. We were able to find some eggies as we call them now with Milo. <laughs> this morning, uh, eggs have been in a shortage. I don't know if it's everywhere, if it's just here in California. I feel like it's more than just California, but if I go to the store before 10, I'm usually able to find eggs. I do prefer the organic. Uh, these are Trader Joe's brand, which is super cool. They have pasture raised and then organic pasture raised, and I would prefer those, but they're literally 650 each right now. And I just, I'm, I'll, I'll take a step down to these for now. They're delicious, but seriously, pasture raised eggs. I'm up on my egg soapbox again, but pasture raised eggs, you can taste and see the difference. It is so much better. They don't hurt my stomach anymore. Eggs used to really bother my stomach. Not since I switched to pasture raised. So that plain Greek yogurt, like I said, to either feed Milo, but mostly I would like to make a big old batch of tzatziki. So maybe we'll do that soon. I got a couple of cartons of milk. This is the milk that Milo mostly drinks. The organic milk from grass fed cows. I share what I'm comfortable with and what I do, but like I'm never judging you. I'm never that bitch. Um, but I watch like a lot of nutritionists and a lot of you know more organic style living people and for when it comes to feeding Milo I would like to feed him organic milk from grass-fed cows it's also delicious before we had Milo we would buy um, like lactate Trader Joe's version of lactate because milk does bother Bradley's stomach and it bothers mine too this doesn't to be fair I'm not like drinking glasses of milk but like if I have cereal or if we make cookies and I have some milk with that this doesn't bother my stomach the way past things used to I got a couple of cans of diced uh, tomatoes. These are vine ripened tomatoes diced in tomato juice. Um, I feel like they used to have smaller cans and I would prefer smaller cans, but I guess most of the recipes I use call for 28 ounces anyway, but I used up my last can last night making that red bell pepper soup. So I just restocked on that. Some other canned goods. We are almost out of our jam. We like this organic reduced sugar strawberry preserves. It tastes really, really good. Um, I have it on my English muffins in the morning. Milo's super into PB and J's right now. And then I also just pick up this minced garlic can. I do agree that like fresh garlic will always be better. And if Bradley is home, he will like cut it up for me. I still love the taste of garlic. Ever since pregnancy, the smell of raw garlic bothers me. It's such, it's such a bummer because I still, I like garlic is one of my favorite things, but something about raw garlic, especially like cutting it up, it just bothers me. Um, so if I'm making dinner and he's not home, this is really nice to have on hand, just throw in there. We used to buy the big jug from Costco, but I don't, I just don't feel it's necessary now that we 
mostly use fresh garlic, but this is just minced garlic and water. Super easy for like crock pot meals or soups or pastas or something. It just is nice to have on hand in the fridge. Let's talk about some fun Valentine's Day releases. So this is the ricotta cuor, ooh, curosini. C-U-O-R-I-C-I-N-I. -I -I. Thin stuffed pasta with ricotta cheese, Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese with a balsamic reduction. So they're little pink heart raviolis. You can't really tell. I picked up two of these so that we can have it. Probably, we probably won't have it on Valentine's night, but I don't really know what the plan is. I love a themed dinner. Ricotta ravioli. Ricotta is one of my favorite things in the entire world. So I am very excited to try this. Okay, so my camera died if things look different, but as I was saying, if you do have kids or you're staying in for Valentine's Day for whatever reason, this might be a super fun themed meal. So uh, I had to pick it up. Plus Milo loves ravioli. So hopefully he'll like this one. Hopefully we all like this one. We haven't tried it yet, but super cute. Something we have tried and we really liked were the Trader Joe's raspberry mousse cakes. So good. So you guys know I love the pumpkins that they bring out during the fall. And I love the, they have little like chocolate presents they bring out during Christmas. I didn't, I don't know if I tried these last year. These were, this was my first year trying them. They are delicious. They're yellow or white cake with like some raspberry mousse. I love raspberry desserts. So I knew I would hopefully like this. I am not a fan of the citrus mousse cakes that come out during the summer, but I do like these and they're just so cute. So I had to pick those up again. We finished the first one already. And then something else fun for Valentine's day were these heart shaped macaroons. I don't think, or macarons, I don't, don't, I don't know. I don't think these are new. I've never tried them. So I want to leave, they're basically, you put them in the freezer and then you can either thaw in the refrigerator overnight or you leave them at room temperature for an hour. I'm gonna thaw a couple right now so I can try each flavor. There's vanilla cream with a strawberry center and raspberry cream. And they're so cute, or at least they look like they're so cute. So I'll update you, but I'm excited about that. Something else new, but I already know I love because we finished the first bag. When oh, I talked about it in my favorites video, I'll link it up in the corner if you missed it, but these are the maple pancake flavored puffs. They're corn and rice snacks. They kind of like, just like melt in your mouth. I feel like they're kind of like pirate's booty, like that texture, but they taste like pancakes, like cinnamon, sugar, maple-y. They are so good. Milo loves them too, we all eat them. So Def had to have another bag, delish. Another snacky type thing that I haven't seen in a couple of weeks. We love the Scandinavian swimmers in this house. It's their like knockoff version of Swedish fish, but I actually like these a little bit better, I think. I prefer the blue color, which I feel like is the rarest one in there, but look how much blue was in this bag. So definitely gonna pop this open after I'm done filming and eat a few blue ones. I will not eat the yellow or the orange ones. Bradley eats those, but I do like the blue and the red. <laughs> this I think is new-ish. It's the organic trophy pasta, T-R-O-F-I-E. Um, I keep seeing this on TikTok. I've resisted it the last couple of weeks, but then I just keep seeing it on TikTok and it looks so delicious. It just looks, it's imported from Italy. It looks like handmade gorge pasta and I cannot wait to try it. So um, I want this with like a vodka sauce. That's just what I want and that's what I'll make happen. <laughs> Got a few bread options. So like I said, I've been loving making caprese sandwiches and what I do for that is I buy a demi ciabatta baguette. So you can get the full size if there's more than just two of you in the household. But as this is more of like a fresher bread, it goes bad quicker. So we will either split this and I'll make a whole one and then we cut it in half and then we share it or I would get two sandwiches out of one thing. We're still in an English muffin kick for in the mornings. We just get the classic ones. They do have, I think they're like whole wheat as well. We just get classic, but an English muffin is so good. And I forgot about them for years, but now we just, I love it. And I eat it literally every single morning. And then I also picked up this organic white sandwich bread, PB and J's for Milo, toast for us, my sandwiches. Like this just gets used. I did see a TikTok recipe that looks really easy to make your own like white sandwich bread. We just don't have like a bread loaf to bake it in. So I need to buy that. But for now, um, I like that this organic does have sugar in it. That's why I would like to make my own bread to avoid the sugar and the preservatives and all that. But um, yeah, we do. We like this for now. For some meats, I got ground turkey. I usually get the organic one. They didn't have any, but they did have this. And we use turkey every week. Like I never transfer it to the freezer. I make pasta with it. That soup I made last night, just, I have a bunch of recipes. A little controversial because I love red meat, but I do not like ground beef. Every time we make something with ground beef, it bothers my stomach. So even if it's a recipe that uses that, we swap it out for turkey and tastes just as good. And my stomach's not bothered. So I picked up some ground turkey and then I also picked up um, some oven roasted turkey breast. I usually get the organic one for Milo, but since he's kind of off turkey at the moment, he just won't eat it, toddlers. Um, we actually prefer the way these taste better. They're not organic, but they are good. I usually get 
both the cheese and peanut butter, but they were out of peanut butter today, but the organic mini cheese sandwich crackers. I feel like a lot of people's toddlers and kids love these because a lot of the times we go and they're completely sold out. Like I said, they just had this in stock today, but Milo loves both kinds. I never liked the cheese crackers and I still don't. They gross me out, but the peanut butter ones are so good. Easy to throw on his lunch plate, easy for a snack, easy on the go. So we always have these on hand. And then a couple of freezer things, first of all, these are incredible if you haven't tried them yet. Maple flavored pufferet, but mm, mini pancake puffs. I've seen TikToks of people making these and they always looked so good. And I've seen them in the frozen section, but I resisted because it's just like, you know, whatever. But then my sister tried them and she's like, Amy, you gotta get a box. And so now we are addicted to them. Again, Milo loves them, Bradley loves them. They are so good. Here's a better look at like what they look like on the back. Delicious, you guys. Like unbelievably good. So um, they were out of stock for a while, but now they've been back. But even though we have, I think half a box in the freezer, I bought another one because can't be without. And then like I said, Super Bowl's coming up and I really want mozzarella sticks. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried these from Trader Joe's. They're just the breaded mozzarella cheese sticks. We tried the Friday's brand, I think last year, and I did not like them. So hopefully we like these. I'll plate up some Rayos for dipping and yum. I wish I could have these right now. I could have them right now, but I'm gonna save them for Sunday. <laughs> and also something very cute over there. I got the garland a few weeks ago and then my sister bought me the wreath as a present, but I do have the Valentine's Day wreath and garland up. It is so freaking cute. Brings me a lot of joy. And even Bradley last night was like, that looks good. And I was like, yeah, it does. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it. So now what I'm going to do is put it all away and as I'm putting things away and cleaning out the fridge I kind of take a mental note of things that need to be used up or things that need to go in the freezer if we're not going to quite use them up this week and this is when I make my meal plan I've talked about how I've been meal planning a little bit more just to A, make my life easier and B, waste less food we've been wasting so much less food I just feel like with each like even month we get better and better at wasting less food and I'm really proud of us for that and I just want to keep getting better. So that's what I'm gonna do now, clean out the fridge, put all this stuff in, kind of take inventory of what we have and start working on a meal plan. Let's do it. editing this video and I realized I never showed you my finished meal plan so it's actually Saturday today um, but Monday we had the stuffed pepper soup Tuesday I made chicken and sweet potato bowls because we had sweet potatoes to use up Wednesday we made that um, fancy pasta and it was incredible and Bradley made a delicious vodka sauce it was one of my favorite meals he's ever made I told him that do you have anything to say about that? No, it was, <laughs> we were out of vodka, so it wasn't even vodka sauce. It was wannabe vodka sauce without vodka. It was incredible. Also, I know that's not how you spell Caesar salad. <laughs> I was gonna tell you. I don't know how to spell it. It's C A E. C -A -E. Yeah. All right. There's room for an A there. There we go. Fixed. Thursday, we had a bunch of random stuff to use up. Some potatoes, mushrooms. I made a really weird experimental chicken it wasn't dish, bad. and it was delicious. There just wasn't enough. It was barely enough. Yeah, it was like barely enough of everything. I also made a arugula salad with that to use up some just like celery carrots and all that. Uh, yesterday was Friday. We actually went to Universal Studios. We had tickets for the preview of Nintendo World, and it was amazing. And we ate there. Not in Nintendo World. We didn't get into the- Where did we eat? We actually ended up eating at Johnny Rockets randomly and it was incredible. It was not bad. It was so good. It tasted I've, like- I fought it. He did fight it, but for some reason I was really craving their fries and ranch and it literally tasted like I was 10. It was incredible. Um, tonight is Saturday. I have spinach in the freezer and uh, the, it was like the mini tri-colored gnocchi from Trader Joe's in the freezer. So I'm gonna make my chicken gnocchi soup and I'm gonna vlog it. So check out the next vlog. We'll talk about that there. Then Sunday's our Super Bowl feast where we have lots of plans. So we'll try to vlog that too. So check out the next vlog. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this twist on a Trader Joe's haul. If you want more Trader Joe's hauls, I have years worth in a playlist. I can link up there. 
But yeah, just let me know how you felt about this type of video. We can do it again. But yeah, that's just like a look inside the groceries we bought for this week, the meals we ate this week, and how I kind of plan it all out. So hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did. Give it a thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram at Amy Lynn Butchin. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you very soon in the next one. I guess we're peacing out. Bye. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Bye, guys. <laughs>